In some cases, it can make walking or standing uncomfortable. The root cause of reactive arthritis lies in the body's immune response to certain bacterial infections. Instead of solely targeting the bacteria, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues, leading to inflammation in various areas. Chlamydia trachomatis, a sexually transmitted infection, is one of the most common triggers of reactive arthritis. Other sexually transmitted infections, such as gonorrhea, can also precede the development of this condition. Gastrointestinal infections caused by bacteria like Salmonella, Shigella, Campylobacter, and Yersinia are also implicated in reactive arthritis. These infections typically result from consuming contaminated food or water. Section 5. Diagnosing Writer's Syndrome. A multifaceted approach. Diagnosing reactive arthritis can be challenging, as its symptoms often mimic other conditions. There isn't a single test to confirm the diagnosis. Rather, it involves a combination of clinical evaluation, physical examination, and laboratory tests. Doctors often look for the classic triad of arthritis, eye inflammation, and urinary tract symptoms, especially if they appear following a known infection. A thorough medical history including any recent infections is crucial. Physical examination focuses on assessing the affected joints for swelling, tenderness, range of motion, and signs of inflammation in the eyes and skin. Doctors may also examine the genitals for signs of infection. Laboratory tests play a supporting role in the diagnostic process. Blood tests can reveal elevated inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein CRP, and erythrocyte sedimentation rate ESR, indicating an active inflammatory response.